Welcome back. I have been obsessed with keyboard launches for a long time. Back in 2012, I watched this video from The Verge, and it was a video where Dieter Bone was unpacking what Alfred does. Alfred is a keyboard launcher for Mac OS. It's kind of like what the Quicksilver tool used to be on Mac OS that then became Spotlight, and Alfred was a tool to try and beef up that concept even further. I was obsessed with this idea. I had an 11 inch MacBook Air at the time that I used for a lot of study stuff, and I loved how productive keyboard launches made me feel. Were they actually any more productive? Maybe, maybe not, but feeling productive is half the battle. And so my obsession with keyboard launches grew. And as I was fuddling around with all sorts of Linux oriented stuff as well, I thought, what are the equivalents of these in the Linux world? Now, back then it was a very different world. There was a lot of different keyboard launcher apps and obviously mainstream desktops in the Linux world, both GNOME and KDE both fleshed out their own keyboard launches. So the question that I'm gonna try and answer today is what are the options if you are wanting to beef up your own keyboard launching game and uh, both first party and also third party that you can add on. So let's cover the basics. A good keyboard launcher should be able to search and launch all the applications that you have installed on your system. It should be able to also do quick web searches, search for files on your system, help you navigate your file structure. And it should be able to do things like calculate simple math problems, uh, define any words, and maybe even some system commands like logging off and shutting down, that kind of thing. Those are kind of the basics of what a keyboard launcher should do. But then with a keyboard launcher like Alfred, you have a lot of other stuff that gets bundled onto that as well. And I mean, just looking at Alfred's website these days, many years later from that Verge video, uh, it gets pretty crazy pretty quick, like uh, automated setups, workflows attached to uh, Apple's various workflow ecosystems, uh, all of that kind of stuff. I mean, just the, the feature list on Alfred these days is kind of ridiculous. Uh, but how much of that can you actually achieve on the Linux desktop? So that's what I'm gonna try and look at today. Some of these extras that would be nice to have would include things like the ability to add on extensions, the ability to do external controls for things like music, um, a clipboard history would be amazing. Other search engines for um, both internet and different web services would be great. And all of these together would tie into a fairly productive little tool, or at least it would feel productive. So what are your options? Well, in my humble opinion, it boils down to three. Uh, that is outside of the built-in tools in GNOME and KDE. Just so that we're all familiar, GNOME Shell has its own built-in search, as many of you already know. You hit the Windows or Super key on your keyboard and it, or the Meta key, whatever one you prefer to call it, and it will bring in search results depending on what GNOME extensions you have installed. Now, does it do simple calculations out of the box in terms of maths and stuff? Uh, yeah, sort of. Does it do uh, online conversions of uh, units like uh, four kilograms in pounds? Uh, nope, it doesn't. Does it do files and downloads? Absolutely it does. Does it help you navigate your file structure? Mm, sort of. Can it do web searches? Well, again, with the right GNOME extensions, it can. And is it extendable via extensions? Well, obviously. The same can be said for KRunner. KRunner is a really powerful tool built into KDE that can help you search and launch things as well. Now, is KRunner extendable? Absolutely. The amount of plugins that they have and amount of options that you can enable in KRunner is uh, is pretty darn powerful. And the fact that it's all built into the tool, you don't have to go hunting around any web pages or anything like that is also really useful. So if you're already running the KDE Plasma desktop, then chances are you can kind of scrap the video here and move on. But as we all know, KDE is not the only option out there. And so this is where we dive into some of the third party keyboard launchers that are available for Linux. And while there are many of these that stretch back many, many years, it's worth mentioning that some of these are getting pretty old. Back in my day when I started using keyboard launchers, apps like Gnome Do and uh, Synapse were, and Kupfer were all pretty decent keyboard launchers, but they've all since languished in development, at least 
most of those to my to my knowledge and so here are some recommendations for ones that i've found since first of all we have u launcher u launcher is an application launcher a keyboard launcher built for linux as opposed to my other recommendation cerebro which is more cross-platform but i've found in my experience that u launcher has been uh, more responsive and works better with more linux setups so regardless of whether you're running a mate or xfce or kde what why would you do that k runner is a amazing uh, GNOME or anything else, U Launcher can give you some really great options, uh, both default as it currently stands, but also as a tool that you can extend the functionality out. So for example, if I go and uh, start typing uh, application names out of the box, it'll be able to manage that pretty easily. But the real magic for U Launcher comes with their pretty extensive extension list. The bummer here is that you have to be able to add these in manually, which means going back to the uLauncher website and fuddling through uh, giving it a URL. It's not the worst system ever, and there are plenty of great extensions that you can use here. Uh, things like searching the Proton database, doing unit conversions, uh, killing certain applications or opening different directories. And I mean, you can just kind of scroll down the list here and take your pick. Uh, again, a healthy ecosystem of extensions for a keyboard launcher is key to committing to one of these uh, long term because you want to know that as the project moves on that your favorite thing that you do to save you time is going to be supported. It's these sort of little applet things that make these keyboard launchers more useful. And the fact that you can choose from a couple of different themes and also extend more themes uh, just by dragging and dropping configuration files into the appropriate folder means that U Launcher does provide a pretty good option overall. Uh, now, some runners up here, at least in my experience, would be Albert. Albert is probably the most performant or feels the most performant out of all of these. While Albert is not exactly the most feature rich, or at least it doesn't appear to be the most feature rich, um, it's built on a combination of C Sharp and Qt. And so it feels great in terms of the amount of performance you get out of it. The extension uh, collection that you can use for it is, uh, I wouldn't say it's as expansive as U Launcher, but it is again, pretty healthy. The development rate of Albert as a keyboard launcher doesn't seem to be as aggressive as some of the others, but in terms of doing the basics like uh, searching your applications, being able to navigate around your file system or your home folder, uh, all pretty decent. Can it do certain calculations? Uh, usually, yes, it can, but its set of extensions need to be enabled when you first launch it. So you need to come through, check all the boxes of what you want enabled out of the box, and, uh, and it'll do that for you. The fact that Albert has uh, fuzzy search as an option that you can check, if you're an accurate typist, good on you. If you're not, fuzzy will come in and save you. What I like about Albert is the fact that it gives you pretty good information about what it's doing, why, and how you can tweak stuff, as opposed to some some of these others that uh, that sort of obscure a lot of that control away from the user. So Albert and U Launcher are both purpose built for Linux. You also have Cerebro, which is available as a cross platform uh, keyboard launcher. And by the way, if you are watching this and you want a Windows suggestion, uh, look no further than the Power Toys range uh, from Microsoft. They have a keyboard launcher there that should basically be standard by now, at least in my opinion. Uh, Power Toys is probably a whole nother video for probably a different channel, but Power Toys Run is what you're looking for there. And that is uh, getting plenty of active development as well. Uh, funnily enough, I'm not sure if, if Power Toys is open source, but, um, but I think there is a lot of open source contributions that go into that. Anyway, back to Cerebro. Cerebro is uh, sort of the one size fits all approach for cross platforms. It has some limitations in that regard in that in my experience, even though there are plenty of plugins available for Cerebro, it seems like Linux is a little bit of a second class citizen here in that I've enabled some of these plugins and being able to toggle these on and off, for example, uh, 10 kilos into pounds or stuff like that. They all work pretty well, but in terms of just basic search and launch of applications, it seems like I'm either, I either haven't enabled something or out of the box, it's just not working, uh, which isn't ideal. Now there are specific plugins that you have to enable in order for it to be able to search and launch applications on Mac, for example. And I don't know if it'd be the same for Windows or not, I haven't tried. But while there are plenty of great open source uh, extensions available to be able to be installed from within uh, Cerebro itself, 
uh, at the end of the day, it still feels uh, kind of half-baked or at least like the experience feels a bit second class compared to both Ulauncher and Albert, at least here on Linux. Maybe your mileage varies on Windows and Mac. So that about wraps it up. Between these three third-party launches and also the excellent K-Runner and the relatively decent GNOME Global Search, you've got plenty of great keyboard launches out there. Let me know what your favorite keyboard launcher is down below. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm still dying for one of these keyboard launches to be able to integrate a heads-up display menu in the same way that the Unity uh, Global Search menu used to work back in the day, where you can search for the different file menu structures uh, or menu items within a, uh, an application because that was just hot stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one.